Hello and welcome back to the Chosen One. So, we can core this last province. It's good. Um, I don't think that we can convert anything in a reasonable time still. We do have corruption. It's not a big deal. I would like to root it out since I am making some money right now. Go down to that. Uh, we have plenty of unrest everywhere. It's expected. Um, so I think we're just going to wait for these rebels to pop. And then once those rebels pop, we're going to immediately go to war with Ming. Taking these juicy provinces from Ming as soon as possible seems like the best, best plan of action right now. There's still some separatists, but there are also pretenders and stuff going on in Ming. More or less, he's weak, and we want to jump on that as soon as possible. We also want to build a spy network with Hai Chi. And... Just going to kind of wait for rebels at this point. Looks like we should be at our naval force limit. Yep. We're making some good money now, which is great. Like that we're not starving for starving for money anymore. Underhanded rogues of Japan have claimed our province. Unsurprising. We have enough to claim on Japan, I believe. No, we need 25. We can claim on one of their vassals, though. It looks like Hosokawa is somewhat interested in working with me. I think I'm going to save up for the claim on Japan. It seems more valuable at this point. How much do I need? Really? Oh, do I already have a claim? Yes, I'm dumb. Okay, well then I guess we'll take one of these. Fabricate on... Zumo? We already have that one, so I guess Aki. Fortune has ended. I was considering vassalizing Korchin, but I don't think that that's going to be as beneficial as, say, taking Zhuanhua from Ming and then releasing, say, Jin or someone. One of these Ming, uh, whatever, previous countries. I feel like that would be a lot more beneficial because they won't hate me for having all their cores and forcefully vassalizing them. Uh, we can lose 16 ducats. I think we'll just lose the 16 ducats. It's fine. Truce with Ming has ended. We're getting close to some of these rebels. And considering Ming will probably... Well... They may not declare on me right away, but they may declare on me soon. I'm thinking about raising maintenance a bit. If I raise all the way, yeah, I still lose money. Go about halfway. We're still making a ducat a month. That's pretty good. Hmm, we got some global trade power. That's good. Hmm. Much longer until the next idea? Not very. Land attrition. Garrison size. None of these are really that great until the finisher, but... What else are we going to spend our points on? It's not like we want to tech up. Some of these are starting to get there. 42%, that's pretty good. 48, even better. We'll take that idea. Are we even capable of embracing? We are. It's very expensive. But it may be worth it. It's 
especially if I can get like a good peace deal out of Ming and get a lot of their money. They do have reduced forest maintenance, but it's not a big deal. We've lost our CB on Jiangsu. I feel like that happened a while ago. Oh, maybe there was something to do with that province. Either way, it's not a big deal. I'm not really worried about it. We've gained a core province. Just have one more to go. Jiangsu rebels are gonna pop soon. They should be. Well, they're kind of everywhere. What? Let's see here. 8, 12. Does this have rebels? A G. That one's Korchin. Mm, unrest is this up here. I'm assuming it's going to pop in Yaran. Yaran. Probably just move our armies down there. And raise maintenance all the way since they're already at 90%. I actually don't want. Uh, I hope they don't pop. Oh, thank God they didn't. <laughs> um, well, maintenance is high enough. I feel like we could probably win against some rebels. More Japanese vassals fabricating on me. Now we wait for them to go up. I'm sure it'll take another year, as it usually does. I really like to convert, but those timers are just way too long. I don't think I have any decisions I can take right now either. Ming has entered an alliance with Tibet. Well, that's unfortunate. Kind of missed our... Missed our window. But I'm also not particularly worried. Especially since a lot of Ming's lands are um, blocked by these guys. And Ming is being a dummy and warning all these people, so they're really not going to like him. See this one more time. Worn by Ming. Yeah, pretty unlikely. But I'm sure one of them will give him access. We'll probably have to fight Tibet and Longzhong, but I don't think it'll be a huge deal. Just waiting for the rebels. We also have a bunch of spy network strength. We can claim a bunch more on these guys. Go with Harima. What is this? Tajima? Jaima? Don't have enough strength for that. We need 30 to claim on Haichi. We can continue to build on Ming. I think we can take, bring back our spy from Japan. The rebels finally popped. It's 20k. They're taking a negative two crossing penalty. I think we should be fine. They don't even have a general. Perfect. Now, did my force limit increase? It did a little. We can't build cannons yet. What is 
the engagement width. 24. I do have more than 24 already. I think building a couple infantry is a good idea. That way we have some units to cycle in and out and carpet siege behind our main army. Other than that, I think we want to move over to Ming now. I don't think... Oh, Korch and Separatists are kind of getting there. Let's see. It's five, so we can actually put them down if we just park our troops over there. Uh, we can gain a bit of money, lose a bit of loyalty from the nobility. Or we can gain a stability, which seems a lot more valuable to me. I'm sorry, merchant guilds. It's nothing personal. We also... Whoops. We also want to... Take out a few... These guys... You guys can just go stand in... In that province. I can select these. Excuse me. There we go. So, that unrest should go down to zero, which means that we just need to wait five months. That one's already reducing. We should be ready for War with Ming in no time at all. Now, we should probably look at the forts. They have one in Shenyang, one in Beijing, obviously. And they have a couple down here. At level two. Okay, not too bad. So, if we declared on them today, Longzhang doesn't come in. Tibet is the only one that comes in. Is Tibet a serious... Serious deterrent? Not really. They can only field nine troops. Ming can only field... Where is Ming? Where did Ming go? Do they not have an army anymore? They do not. They have exactly zero troops. Okay, this is... There's no way I can pass that up. I would like to take... Both of them are forts. It's probably going to take longer to get to Beijing, so I'm going to take... Shenyang as my war goal. We're going to go... How many troops do I need? Garrison of 2,000, so I need 6k... Plus one. Can I milk the nobility? Yes, I can. Definitely going to take a general. Please be someone good. Not bad. Definitely worth the... Definitely worth it. I'm going to send you down there. Take one regiment. Go down there. I'm gonna send the cab over there and these guys here. Um, merchant guilds can gain some loyalty, gain some base tax, or they lose loyalty, and they lose influence. I think it's fine. Some base tax never hurt anybody, is where most of our income comes from. Group those. I'm going to send one guy over there, and another guy over here. Nope, I apparently can't. Oh, I'll need to blockade. Where is... Where you guys are. Bring in the navy. 99% still. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll have to stand there. I don't have any other... I mean, I guess I can unmothball these guys.
to get 100% out of that. But we'll repair the damage for now. 99 isn't bad, and as we take this other province, I feel like it'll pop up to 100. Yep, there we go. And I'll send this troop back. So, let's see if Ming's tra trained any troops yet. They have. They have 16 mercenaries. I'm sure that'll be great for them. And is fabricating on me still. I do have the money. I'm going to build the fort here. I feel like it's absolutely necessary. Can I go here? I can go there. Interesting. But I can't go there. Why? I don't know. We may as well siege their capital. How many? Need nine. You guys can go back. Not sure where Ming is. They don't seem to want to fight, though. Positive, positive chance now, so hopefully we'll take the war go soon. And there it is. Now we can send one soldier over here. We should probably head straight up to that. We need to take seven. Want them gone yesterday. Well, this isn't exactly a difficult war. Oh, you know what? Ming was probably taking care of their rebels. That was probably what was happening. Uh, the Oi Rad is building spy network. That's unsurprising. Our diplomat got caught. That's too bad. Can we make some claims? We can. Uh, we probably want that if we're going to take to one. And we cannot claim anything else. Do I have claims on you? I don't. I should probably build a spy network. We're going to want to take you pretty soon. Political crisis. Uh, we are at 100% legitimacy, but 75 is pretty low. I feel like... What does it take to bump legitimacy? I think it's military, right? Yeah. I feel like the legitimacy is less, uh, what do you call it, less expensive, less valuable, that's, that's the word. And we gain another stability. We can invest in our final idea, which gives us a plus 50% manpower modifier, We're now at 30k possible. And land attrition drops, which is also great. Waiting for Beijing to get siege down. Can't go around. Doesn't look like Mongolia or Korchin have military access. And there's Ming. Okay. What is his general? A 3-2. And we do have the 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Well, we will have to uh, 
make this battle a cliffhanger though because I'm running out of time. So I'm going to take a break here and I will see you in the next one.